Tappy activated, I'm going to share some data on the key features of staking. First, use your memory board to record this term, epochs. The thing is, staking rewards are distributed at the end of each epoch, a fixed period of time that varies from blockchain to blockchain. For instance, Cardano's epochs last 5 days, while Ethereum's last just 6.4 minutes. As for rewards themselves, they depend on such factors as the total amount of coins staked and network-specific rules. Plus, validators and delegators share these rewards based on their contribution. Let's keep these coins rolling. Staking pools let many people combine their stakes to increase their chances of earning rewards. Delegators in a pool receive a share of the earnings, minus any validator fees. Except the final data transmission about the economics of crypto staking. Staking is essential for keeping POS blockchains secure and running smoothly. But it's not without trade-offs. Blockchain designers have to balance three goals, which is the staking trilemma. High security. The more assets locked in staking, the more secure the blockchain. To achieve this, blockchains must offer high rewards, which are expensive to maintain. Low fees. Low transaction fees attract users and help the network grow. But to keep fees low, the network may need to reduce staking rewards or increase inflation. And low inflation, people don't want their coins to lose value due to inflation. But keeping inflation low means fewer rewards for stakers or higher fees for users. Switching on the explanation module. It's impossible to maximize all three at the same time. For example, focusing on security might mean higher fees or inflation, while prioritizing low fees could reduce security. What part of this trilemma is the most important for you? Comment below and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to stay ahead of the crypto curve. Tappy deactivated.